Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to clip shapes on the canvas. So we'll get started by adding a canvas and giving it an ID. So my canvas ID will be my canvas and we'll specify the width, which for this will be 200 and the height will also be 200. Okay, we'll add a style for the canvas. So we'll say style. Um, we'll add the style tag and the closing style tag. And inside that style um, section, we'll refer to the canvas by its ID. And uh, I won't bother specifying a background color, but I will specify a border of one pixel solid and black, just so we can see on the in the browser where the canvas actually is. Okay, so then um, in the body section, we'll add some a opening and a closing script tag and we'll add some JavaScript inside those tags. So we'll create a function called draw and this will run when the page loads. And so we'll just set this up. Um, so var ctx equals and we'll use the document dot get element by ID method. And we will uh, Oops, we'll refer to the canvas bytes ID and set this uh, canvas up so we can use all the different uh, properties to draw our shapes. Okay, so get context 2D and then we'll close that line off with the semicolon. All right, so we'll make a rectangle using the ctx.rect um, um, method there. So ctx.rect and the um, basically with the rectangle, there are four different values that we can specify inside the brackets, so the X position, the Y position, the width of the rectangle, and the height of the rectangle. Okay, so ctx.rect, and then we'll say, um, it will start at X and Y positions of 50 and 50. It will have a width of 100 and a height also of 100. So, um, we've created a rectangle. Now, the um, what we might just do is we'll add stroke, we'll ctx dot stroke, so it'll actually um, create that rectangle or we'll line around the rectangle. So we're not going to fill the rectangle; we'll just create the actual rectangle. So ctx dot stroke, and then outside of the function, we'll say window dot on load equals draw, which will actually run this function when the page loads. So let's have a look at this in the browser. There is our rectangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to clip that rectangle with another rectangle. All right, so, so I'll say ctx.clip, and then I'll add the other rectangle, which is going to um, clip the rectangle and it'll have an X position of zero, a Y position of zero, a width of 100 and a height of 100 as well. All right, just fix up the semicolons on those lines. Make sure there's a semicolon at the end of each line and we'll save that and refresh. And now we've actually clipped that rectangle with the other rectangle. So if I take away this clip line here, I'll just comment that out, save and refresh. You can see there's two rectangles there. All right, so I've actually drawn two rectangles. But because I add that line there between them, ctx.clip, it will clip one of the rectangles with the other. All right, so that's how to clip shapes using ctx.clip. Thanks for watching.